What's your life goal? And have you achieved it? Yeah, I married you. Aw, gross. You really need to go out there and make sure the whole world hates you. My butthole is all over the internet. A fine wine. She keeps me in the basement and pulls me out when she needs me. If I drink Sambuca, he's getting it. I bought a case. You can tell a lot about a person by the way their tits, pussy, or dick looks. You come near my cheeks and it's not going to be a good day for you, homie. (laughs) This is going to be special. Welcome to the Two Onions Podcast with Danny Daniels and Vic. What's up, everybody? I'm Danny Daniels, and next to me is my husband, Vic. Today is February 28th, 2023, and I am still happily married, so don't fall for scammers pretending to be me, is basically what I'm saying. Do you want to know what's amazing? I, I defy you to go out and look at our YouTube page and see how many people write underneath it. No, they're not married. Yeah. <laughs> it's been thick. Uh, with the scammers lately yeah. so i'm i'm overly um for warning i don't know i had my tiktok taken down i got it back but there was it was like a like a crazy send itunes card scam spree so stay oh, yeah. safe out there guys when not only that but we lost the the shop dd box instagram which we just got back because they claimed that it was impersonating you yet the ones that are actually impersonating you yeah we can't one, get them to take the down. one account that's not so yeah but but you know Whatever. how life is real also like liquid death has an iced tea now Oh. This is not sponsored by Liquid Death, for the record. I just wanted to try their iced tea, and it, like it's pretty good. Uh, we've been uh, we've been on the Liquid Death wagon since they first came out a couple of years back, and um, I'm into it. They're pretty awesome. I I, like- I love their water. Their water is is. I mean, I know it's like oh, it's just water, but I don't know something about it is just kind of cool. I will buy it purely for the fact that they support sex workers. Well, just for that. That and 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 you know <laughs> but- Martha Stewart cut somebody's hand oh, off. Oh yeah, <laughs> like this is yeah. I like it anyway. Uh, and, not and sponsored by Liquid Death, but as, I like this. As- it's not sweet. Want to try it? No, thank you. As all, right. all of you... Uh, <laughs> Big sting low carb. I'm doing low carb, so no sugar. As all of you <laughs> know, we sugar. have an excessive love of Cherie DeVille, and she did their uh, commercial, which I really suggest you. Just Google Cherie DeVille Liquid Death. You're going to laugh like your ass off. I like that every podcast is now a Cherie DeVille like, yes, love it's fest. it's a love fest. But yeah, so they have a new idea. They have three flavors. They're very funny. This is Grim Leafer. Grim Leafer. I'm into it. So, yeah, I don't know. Just a free shout out. Like, if you want to send me more Liquid Death, that's cool. Yeah, that'd be (laughs) awesome. Anyway, (laughs) on to the podcast. Let's let's talk expiz. Let's talk expiz. We were at expiz. You know what? This requires alcohol. Mm. I'm thinking. (sighs) Is that going to pair well with my iced tea? I don't know. It's going to pair well with my not iced tea. (laughs) This is a craigalecki craigalecki craig something or other craigalecki i think it's i think it's craigalecki you gotta say it like it looks like a oh craigalecki yeah, yeah that's, really that's it. probably so but wrong. it's it's um oh yeah sorry barry i know you're watching you know? this and colin all of you guys in scotland that are our friends we are fucking up your language um but it's age 13 years which i i, I like 13 so it's good uh, you realize they speak english right who their language you mean their accent uh, the, you said we're this, fucking we're, up your f- Yeah, they speak English. Okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> no comment. I can't wait for those comments to roll in. Wait, you guys can see my feet if they you're watching s- this on YouTube. For free? You get to see my, my slippers and my toes for free? I'm going to hide them. You got to go to my only so, fans um, for that. Wait, cheers. I'm gonna sit. Cheers. Let's see. You got to leave the bottle out. Nah, I don't have to do anything. It smells good. Oh, I like that. That's nice. It's good. Got a little vanilla. It's got a uh, little spice at the end. I like that. This tastes like. Here we go. If you, it tastes like vanilla. Okay, I'm gonna paint you a picture, and you tell me what you think. You're recently 18, for the sake of YouTube. Oh Christ, that was a long time ago. You take a girl to the movie theater first date. Hoping to get your dick sucked, or at least finger her, or over the bra. I mean, depending on... You're you're a pretty quick mover on a first date, but go ahead, keep going. I, I'm interested to see um, where this is going. I, I had to, like, dial it back so quickly. I was like, yeah, no job. Oh, maybe just feel... Maybe, maybe just a makeout sesh in the movie theater, all right? Maybe you're lucky if you're you, holding hands. You, <laughs> you're so excited. You go to the snack bar, and you get a... You will know this, because it's old, like you... A vanilla pop 
What the fuck is a vanilla pop? That vanilla pop shit. I don't know. I was trying to make it get, put it in old people language. Pop. pop. What the hell's pop? Well, some people call soda pop. Okay, soda. Got like it. you go to like you get like a vanilla soda. Like cream like some soda. Some gross shit. Yeah, cream soda. Cream Thank soda. you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, you <laughs> and you get. This is where it gets interesting. You get. Remember Red Hots? Yes, I remember. You get Red van- Hots. vanilla cream soda and Red Hots. And that's Mama, what this fucking tastes like. Cream soda and Red Hots. Maybe a little popcorn. Oh. Thank you for that. God. One. Well, try it. Tell me I'm wrong. I, no, I did. I, I said vanilla and spice. Mm-hmm. So I guess uh, that's, that's you painted a picture. But I just swim harsh. with the words vanilla and you spice. You didn't get the blowjob, but you got like a little make out over the bra squeeze action. Do you have like a squeeze noise? Do I have a squeeze noise? Like a no, rawr, but, rawr. but. Thank you. Thank you very much. Why do you have only clapping sounds? I don't know. I got clappings. I oh got a rim God, shot. That's going to be so annoying. Wait, wait, wait. This like one's this. even better. This... Yikes. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> How we do? I give this an eight. It's yeah, pretty that's, good. It's that's, that's a solid eight. That's good. It's 13 year aged. Um, yeah. We drove, it's actually a town in Speyside. We were up there. That's that's around where McAllen and Bolveni is. And we drove past it. And I remember the driver pronouncing it. But the problem was, is I didn't understand the goddamn thing he said the yeah, entire Vic trip. Yeah, doesn't so. do very well in Scotland. No. I don't know if we, I think we've talked about this, yeah. but you never know what anyone's saying. And no. I have to like translate. No, 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 no it's, it's, to English. It's, it's funny. <laughs> only, only when we were in very Northern Scotland, when we were up in Speyside and stuff, I had a problem. When we were on Isla, you know, our friends Barry and, and, and Colin, I loved their accents. It was great. But when we were up in Speyside, holy crap, I didn't have an idea what they were saying. And then I got a Scottish caddy who cursed at me the entire yeah. time. Well, at I least think we've told I, think, them. I think he was cursing at me. I don't know. It was great. Every time we do a podcast, we talk about Shree and then we talk about Scotland for like half of it. I think we need like, just to yeah. move there. We need to move there and <laughs> drink scotch. Let's talk expiz. Okay. Well, we were, so a couple weeks back, uh, by the time you guys are seeing this, it'll be right, about, about like a month a ago. I'm going to do like a double. Let's see. Uh, we got a swish swish and then another swish swish. <laughs> oh yeah. That was a, that was, that was a mistake. That, that was, was a mistake. Was Don't like that. Good job. Ooh. Anyway, we were about four weeks ago, about four weeks ago, we were at the XBiz X3 Expo and... Uh, Say that three times fast. No, thank X3, you. X3, uh, XBiz X3 Expo. We got... That'll be the That'll be this episode. It'll be XBiz X3 and Expo. There you go. Uh, there we go to three Xs. That's, um, we like triple X around here. At some point, we're going to get to the XBiz. Anyway, so we were at the, the Expo and um, uh, there was a Danny Daniels booth at the Expo and we had a lot of... Uh, a lot of fans come up, and mm-hmm. we had... You guys all mess with Vic, like I asked. We had all our merchandise there. We had one too many people tell us how wonderful TikTok was. I hate all of you. Yes, um, I love you guys so much. It and, was really cool. Like, there's so many people that came out. I haven't yeah. done... I think I talked about this in the last episode, but I haven't done a convention in so long that I was very nervous. Um... I try to keep it all inside, but I don't think I kept it all inside. No, you did. Uh, you were great. Um, but there were so many people. I had were, this like long line, and I signed yeah. all day, and I had this yeah. long line of people, and like everyone was super cool. Um, yeah, it was I a lot of fun. I had zero complaints. It was no, really it, fun. it was great. We we had uh, we had three versions of our coffee there. Mm-hmm. Um, we had all our <laughs> merchandise there. We, my wife, had all her merchandise there. I was just the bald guy behind the desk. Here's the warehouse guy. No, just the warehouse. I'm just warehouse I, guy number two. Warehouse guy number one isn't even here right now. I think we single handedly caffeinated that convention. Oh, by far, like, yeah. All the performers were... and all of the staff and everyone with the booth like kept coming onto the booth being like, yeah. Can I have more coffee? All the girls, can I have more coffee? It was yeah, and the coffee with <laughs> coffee was awesome. We actually uh, launched our Dooms whiskey barrel aged coffee. Mm-hmm. Um that sold like a son of a bitch. Yeah, is that sold uh, out now? No, no, we have though we we just we're on actually the second hundred pounds. So every after we get through 100 pounds of coffee, we put another 100 pounds in the barrel. So maybe, maybe we can do that three times, and then we're we won't have enough whiskey in the barrel for it to age into it. Boo. Um, yeah. So we'll just have to, you know, buy another barrel. Um, but it was good. It was, it was really good. good. It was really good. I, it's, um, it's I cut the, I cut the ribbon. With you cut the some ribbon, fellow yeah. sexy ladies. Yes, and it was uh, Ms. Angela White, yes. uh, Alexis Fox, yes. Maitland Ward, yes. Demi Sutra, yes, one more, and Exumi. I think two more actually. Katsumi, Katsumi, and one more. There was somebody else that I you. did not know. No, well, I counted myself. No, there was only six of you. It was Katsumi, Demi Sutra, oh. you. 
thought there was somebody Maitland else. Maitland Ward. Well, if I'm forgetting somebody. Alexis Fox can... and Angela White. So it was yes. just the six of you. It was so, very fun. And um, it, was, it was an interesting mixture of heights and sizes <laughs> and was. colors. And But it was six unbelievably gorgeous performers uh, who were all, you know, just having fun. And I got to stand there and, you know. There was this like really funny point. We had like a lot of press there, and there was like this like lull. Like everyone's like, "Look here, look here, okay, look here, look here." And then there was like this awkward lull for like three seconds. I was like, "Everybody, look at Vic!" And then all the girls went. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we got we got a good picture out of that. I, it's probably been on Instagram I, by this point. I think my fa- I have two favorite parts of the convention. My first favorite part was the f- this is I stole the scissors. <laughs> They they gave me we all held like the banner like the little ropey bannery thing to like open the ceremony and then um, one of my friends that works for Xbiz Mo handed me handed me the scissors and was like will you do the honors and cut the ribbon and blah 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 and I was like cool like no problem and then like in my goblin brain I decided to just steal the scissors like I just took them like because I cut the ribbon and I made some inappropriate comment like I'm gonna scissor all of you and then I cut the ribbon and then I just proceeded to like run away carrying two feet foot long scissors and they're now in my office yeah so like, now <laughs> So we we uh, we, mule, we muled back the scissors on a plane. What's Obviously, wrong with that me? was checked in, and yeah, that would that was up there. But my <laughs> my personal favorite my personal favorite part was when Kieran Lee interviewed you. Oh, that wasn't my that was. That, that was, was your least anxiety. favorite, but it was my favorite because I didn't have to be on stage and I was a good half of that interview because, <laughs> oh you know, God. I slipped I Kieran, Kieran a couple of bucks and he was talking about me more than you. But, I yeah. love Kieran. Kieran and I have a very, like, good and yet toxic friendship. Like, <laughs> we just royally roast each other all the time. But it's so. always in, with love. Yes. It's always with love. And I was really, really nervous um, to get interviewed on stage because I feel like I've talked about this before, but I am not a very good public speaker and I don't do well in uh, social situations like that so I had no idea who was interviewing me and then I found out the last minute was Kieran and like when most people would be freaked out by it I was very happy because Kieran's just an awesome human and he made it really easy and fun and um did a good job like damn like he I was I was impressed it's like he you know has been doing this for a bajillion years yeah yeah it was it was pretty awesome he did a great job and uh can't can't really complain um about what he did. It was pretty awesome. And his questions, his ex- questions were actually excellent. I mean, he was mm-hmm. really, really dove into like more than just the typical bullshit questions that you get all the time. So he did good. And then, I mean, the, the kicker was CeeLo Green. CeeLo Green was there. CeeLo Green performing. It was the weirdest thing. Just a bunch of bitches around CeeLo Green. Oh, yeah. And, and then CeeLo he being, like make some know, comment CeeLo. like, what was his number one song, Crazy? Oh, and yeah. he was like, I'm going to make you all wait for it or something. He like, yeah, yeah. played an entire set and then like made us all wait for crazy but it was he was a good all the bitches all the bitches just go up on stage like i don't know what it is i don't understand it i mean good for you it was great eye candy i'd rather i'd rather watch sexy bitches dance than see to be fair but and then my other other favorite part well actually before that i was on a billboard that was on a billboard yep you were on a billboard on on uh Sunset Boulevard, uh, right by the cool. original Guitar Center. Um, and my friend Ashley of Vice Radica shot that photo. So it was yeah. like a double whammy of coolness. Because I was like a featured icon of the in- industry. Yeah, I should icon, know this. Icon of the industry. Um, and then I presented, which was really, really cool. Like all these things. I had all these really amazing moments. But the two things that stuck out in my head, besides presenting and giving myself anxiety, um, were stealing scissors... And my best friend winning performer of the year. And back to the Cherie Love Fest. I know, Cherie Love Fest. <laughs> yeah, so Cherie DeVille won the very first ever performer of the year. Not MILF performer of the year, not trans performer, not female, not male, just performer of the year. The best performer in all the industry. It was the coolest shit. I get chills um, now just like talking yeah, about it. Yeah, the, the, the best part was um, we kind of knew ahead of time, not, not very far ahead of time but just slightly ahead of time i guessed backstage she guessed backstage <laughs> and they they Wait, do not they, they do not have a good poker face i'm gonna out casey right now uh, she's not gonna care she's not gonna get in trouble or anything but she um there was a conversation i was presenting one of the last awards of the night by myself and i was back there and i had all this anxiety and then casey calver who is awesome came backstage because yeah. she was presenting the last award 
one or two, I think. I think she presented movie of the year and performer. She, anyway, yeah, it doesn't she, matter. I think she did. Uh, yeah, she the, was back there, and I just had this weird feeling. I don't know why. You know, if you just have a feeling in your gut, you're like, I have a feeling, like, because I'm like, why am I presenting last? Like, why did Mo push me to be here? Mo obviously knows, like, Shri and yeah, I are yeah. best friends. I'm like, this is just so, so weird. And so when you see performer like on like the ballot or program or whatever it is, it doesn't say anyone. Like, there's no nominees, so there's no like hint of who it could be. So some kind of conversation happened with Casey backstage. I think she asked me a question and I was like, um, she asked you about Cherie. Yeah, that's right. She goes, what would you say about Cherie DeVille? Like if you had to like describe her, like, I know you guys are best friends and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, she won performer of the year. And she's like, how do you know? I was like, well, I know now. And then I ran away like a little goblin. <laughs> Like, I doctor, not doctor who, I Sherlock's the shit, and I, like, ran away, and she's like, don't say anything, don't say anything, and it's not her fault, like, well, then, it was the, actually the, really sweet, but I talked to her a little bit about Shuri, and then... So, so just a, a pitch to Casey, Casey did actually win Director of the Year, yes. and I think she won, I think her movie won Best Picture of the Year, she so... She won, like, all the awards She did, night. she walked it was, away. She fucking, she she's was, awesome. She's a killer, she's pretty awesome, her, she's, she's, she's an amazing human. Plus, she had, like, human. a bitch in, like, green suit on. Oh, yeah, that green crush lot, like, if I wasn't married, I would definitely want to rub up against that crush for Lars. I would let I you would, rub up against it. I mean, it. it's just, you know. I would, if I could watch. <laughs> and I don't hope I Casey, don't get in, um, I don't hope I don't get her in that, trouble because it was that like green crush for Yeah, just just saying. <laughs> I hope I don't get her in trouble because it was like a genuine like just an, I absolutely no, like got her in a corner. I don't I don't think but, so because Mo came running out. Yeah, Mo Mo realized was, so um, I, that like, you knew, so he basically told her you don't you're not allowed to go anywhere near Cherie because she'll know what's going on. So we all had a kind of like you know, block my wife from running up there because she wanted oh. to run. So she had to like hide and, and got a I, great video of, of Cherie. Um, it was cool because I was backstage shocked. and Very then shocked. I had this anxiety all week about presenting. Um, and then, so I come back out after presenting and like everyone that was sitting at our table was like, you did such a good job. Blah, blah, blah. And like, I had completely forgotten that I had presented because I was just so like beelined for Sheree because I was like I have to see this happen I have to see this happen I'm so happy for I'm like crying I'm like don't cry you're gonna give it away and then like Mo sees me and he's like oh no you know <laughs> and, she, and he's like, like you sit, sit he goes, your I ass swear down. to god if she sees you I'm going to kill you I was like okay really? so I like hid in the back of the room and like filmed her like an absolute fucking weirdo and there I was there was like this other table of people and they were staring at me like what is this woman doing like so I, I'm like squatting and like filming it <laughs> but she went on and was awesome. Yeah. So, so she. Uh, Sherry Love Fest. I mean, come on. And, it, and, and I mean, <laughs> her number one hype man. Yeah, without a doubt. And, and there is, um, there are, there are a lot of people in the industry. I don't, I only know a very small handful since I married into it, but I can tell you that of all of the people that we do talk to, no one, not only doesn't anyone ever have a bad word to say about Sherry, they usually have nothing but positive words to say about her and how much she enhances the experience and just what a great human being she is. And we've known that for a while. So it was so funny because before she won like the award before it, like if you guys are on my Instagram, I'm sure you've seen it, but she's like clapping. She has this thing I call happy hands where she like claps like this for people. Like when she's like genuinely excited grin. and she's like, and you see her like happy handing someone. And then I talked to her after I was like, what did you think when Casey, cause Casey gave this like beautiful speech about her and obviously no one knew who it was. Um, and I was like, what did you think when Casey was like talking about you? She goes, all I could think of is like, wow, that's a really nice speech about somebody. <laughs> that's the most Cherie thing I love her. of all time. But we yes. saw some really good people. We met yep. some cool people. Met I met really... Will Pounder for the first time. Yeah, yeah. Will and I, are, uh, Will, yeah, I, I owe you a chess match. So uh, we'll get down. We'll get down yeah, to that like, at some point. He was, he's a really cool guy. He we was, were at the Brazzers booth, I think. And he like came over and introduced himself and he's so sweet. Yeah. But then he like became like this bromance with you all weekend. Like he kept being, oh, he dude, like would see me and he'd be like, where's Vic? And, like every <laughs> yeah, we were, we were, we, I, we, we just, we, we bonded over a bunch of stuff. He'd have been in the military and we talked about uh, a few things back in the day. He was a back Marine. In the day. He's like 25. Yeah. Well, it was back in the day for me. <laughs> um, he's a Marine. So he did 13 weeks. I only did six weeks because I was in the army. So God bless him. But uh, yeah, we, he was, we, very uh, sweet. He, he was, he's we just a bunch of people that bu- was like, it was of, just yeah. like this cool reunion yeah. of like people in the industry that we love. We, not so. only, you know, got to see uh, Johnny stopped over at the booth yep. and Kieran stopped over at the booth and and, you know, and, and plus watching uh, Johnny sins because like a lot of stink. male performers and I understand that Johnny is very popular, but there's a lot of performers that are very popular in the industry. Johnny has like 
like I understand it because Vic is the same way. Like bald heads just like stick out in a crowd and they're really easy to see. People see Johnny. And oh it's my god! Like, it's like flies to shit. It's insane. Oh. It's absolutely insane. And if you know Johnny or you meet Johnny, he is like the most like happy go lucky, like la 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 la. Hey, like smiley, like yeah. la 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 la. And then he has this like. I'm just watching Johnny Sins walk through Expos and like just hordes of men. Yeah. Straight, and, I mean, obviously straight, women. But, but like yeah. a lot of them being, because they all came from my booth. So I yeah. know a lot of them yeah. are straight or, you know. Or at least you think they are. Following, the, following him through the crowd, it was like the funniest thing. Like I watched men waiting for women, like for 20, 30, 40 minutes, waiting for different female performers, get out of line and then, like, follow Johnny's sins around like a puppy. And I was like, <laughs> this is the best. Yeah, it was good. It, I mean, it was really cool. It, you know, the whole the whole event was, it was only a few days mm-hmm. um, at the X3 Expo, which, uh, you know, uh, it, it was, it's a fan event. It's absolutely mm-hmm. a fan event. We also did. It, was, um, it wasn't only fan. There was business. There was business. It was, there business was mostly there. the X, X3 is a fan event. And the oh, yeah. retreat, Sorry. the retreat, which we also did um, with the folks from Love Gun. Um, That's what I was going to say. Yeah, so we did. And and we're going to have Beth on very shortly, if not the next couple of um, ones. But uh, Love Gun launched their brand at the X-Biz Retreat, which was for businesses, basically. And they did very, very well. They Everybody sold loved it. out of they products. They sold out of stock. Um, I think like the second day, yeah, they sold they, out of they, everything. Not just what they brought. Yeah, you They know, sold you, out of everything they have you know it's a good day when you're picking up the phone to the manufacturer <laughs> going um dude how many of these can you do because we're running out and you know my other favorite part about love gun is beth i i talked about this before in the other episode is like beth is smoking hot oh god yeah so everyone thought beth was a performer the entire weekend and like oh. kept trying to like guess and I'm, i was like and like i wouldn't like tell them she wasn't i was like i, mean, oh, yeah. I may i may have been, i may have encouraged that a little <laughs> So it's a, those of you who don't, so if you've seen red carpets, the behind the scenes of the red carpet is having done PR for many, many years is there's a tip sheet. They, they, all of these people look on the tip sheet and say, oh, there's Danny Daniels and Angela White and blah, blah, blah. And there's a tip sheet and you know when they're coming down and you got a kind of photo of them so you can grab the photo when they come through. And, you know, it's, it's a thing and the PR people follow behind. So we were walking and I knew she was behind us. So as she was coming down, I was telling people, hey, you got her on the tip sheet? And they were freaking out because obviously she wasn't. <laughs> They're trying to figure out who she is. The girl is, I didn't know that part you of the know, story. she's got stilettos on. She's six foot of legs. She's unbelievably gorgeous. Her, her husband, who is one of my favorite humans on the planet, <laughs> is just a fire plug of a man and they're walking down the aisle they looked like they belonged on the red carpet so everybody and then people interviewing her it was awesome it was great i can't think of two better people for that gig another do we have a little more time for one more story oh yeah another one of my favorite moments so um beth's husband was there and he like was kind of like in and out manning the booth a little bit like running around doing business with her and like whatever he was like i'm just a warehouse guy like just running he's like the best warehouse guy number one he's like the best supporter of his wife on the planet and i love it so much um, so anyway, so this guy, Tom is not six foot, but man, I would, not, wide. <laughs> I would not want to go up against him in no. a fight. No. <laughs> he just would fucking eat anyone for, and he's Italian and confident and like, I'm like, dude. So there was this moment where like everyone was super, super cool. And like, let me give you a piece of advice if you go to a convention. Do not assume that you can touch a woman anywhere without asking her for her consent because it's not going to go well no so basically i had a great weekend everyone was so awesome there was this one guy it's always one just one that like he was shorter than me i'm like five seven and he's like can we take a picture yeah whatever we can take a picture so we're going to take a picture and he like he's like can i hold you like this like a prom pose pose, and i was like okay that's fucking weird but like whatever now mind you I'll give this guy what, like, I don't think what he did was correct, but I understand where he's coming from. I don't. Because there are a bunch of girls in this event and everyone has different. That don't mean shit. Agreed. I agree. But you got to ask, but everybody has different, you know, lines. Right. So some girls have their ankles behind their head and some girls letting guys grope their ass and some girls are, you know, everyone's doing their own thing. Now he should have asked. I, my assumption is he's either A, a creepy rapist, or B, he just took a picture of some girl that was like, yeah, you can grab my ass and feel up my tits. Whatever the fucking case is, you still should ask, because I'm not 
anyone but me. Mm-hmm. So that being said, he holds me in like this prom pose. And then he like, and, and oh, I forgot to mention this. Tom is taking the picture for me because like he was nearby. I was like, hey, can you take this picture? Because like whatever. Yeah. So he has his hands around my waist and he is slowly and awkwardly like lifting them up my body. Like, A, like I can't feel this. Yeah, right. Yeah. And like your sneak, like I don't know what this guy's motive was. So I go, no, no, no. And so like literally like it's going on my body. I'm like, no, 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 no. Absolutely fucking not. And I should have even had to say no twice. But anyway, so I'm watching Tom. Because, like, okay, what's the worst thing that happens? This guy grabs my tits and I fucking punch him in the face. Like, low-key, that's what I would do. That would have not been the worst thing in this case. Um, Because, for the record, if you guys come to a convention and you just start groping me, I am going to punch you in the fucking mouth. You deserve it. Yeah, before I even get to you, but go ahead. (laughs) Fucking ask. Okay. So... So I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm watching Tom because the guy is behind me and I'm watching Tom as he's taking this picture and he is just foaming at the mouth, oh, like God. He was ready a dog to on a chain. fucking was pounce crazy. this guy. Like if this guy had gone another inch and grabbed my tits, he would have had him by the fucking jugular oh, on God. the phone. It would have like, been. I wish I could have filmed. You know, those like that TikTok trend where it's like someone's filming you dance and then yeah. you're getting their face. Like I wish I got Tom's fucking face. It would have been a body slam. <laughs> he wanted been, to oh, eat this guy for it was, it literally was like it was it was a it was a <laughs> pippa rabbit pit bull on a chain ready to eat this guy for lunch and yes, <laughs> at first like, at first i was like i better step in and then i was like oh shit i better stop tom because he's I don't gonna know. kill the guy <laughs> i don't know if this guy had a, a moment of clarity i don't yeah, know if it was me you, or, or tom but one of us he stopped and then he like scurried away and i was like Oh, you just Richard, had a fucking R- dance with death. Richard, like. <laughs> Richard Pryor used to call it the like the Italian death square. They they can go from laughing and smiling to I'm gonna eat you for lunch and yeah, that's kill exactly your what happened. Yeah, Tom that's what is happened, like yeah. the nicest human on the face of the planet unless you fuck with him or and his then, wife. Oh, or yeah. apparently me. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just like this funny moment. So like if you guys go to a convention and you have never been, the polite thing to do is to ask any performer what their limits are if you have some kind of crazy ass fetish just ask like yeah, most nine but honestly out of ten, m- most of the performers if they're okay with yes. you putting your hand they'll literally put your hand on their ass for you yes you're better off just to assume, I you know what position. You've been, i'm like if you're nice to me you're gonna get a lot farther than that guy did yeah yeah well yeah. Hey, but if you come up to me and you just grope me a creepy i'm going pr- to fucking punch you a creepy prom pose <laughs> with a guy shorter than you is just bizarre to begin that's with. on probably on the internet anyway. somewhere <laughs> Um, if you're that man, <laughs> yeah. If you're that man, you know, you, you, I uh, hope you learned your lesson. Yeah, you, your brush with death was a lot a closer than you thought it was. <laughs> All right, uh, shameless plug. Shameless plug. Um, I don't. You know what? I'm just gonna shout out Liquid Death because they're. Yeah. Why not? Um, check out their new iced tea. Oh, Vic's got his book. The book. Wait for the corn. It's on Amazon. You'll learn about my relationship with my missus. And uh, check out. I don't know. Danny'sThings.com. Danny'sThings.com. All, all the fun stuff. Right? Um, we're going to talk about some new products next episode. So yeah. I'll wait to plug those until the next episode. But all of it's at Danny'sThings.com. So just go there. Hey, wait, 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 Please. wait, wait. But I'm not done. Oh, it's... Wow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow. That's I like, just... Uh, come on, that's that so... was like going back to 95. Oh, 95. It might have been 75. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, uh, do all the things. Share Follow, with your friends. Share with your friends. Share Sharing with the people you don't caring. like. Yeah. If you want to just like scar someone for life, share with them. <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly. And again, dannysthings.com. Yeah. See you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Love you.